Good noon, everyone. I'm very excited to be to have this opportunity to share my vision on research and education. I recently graduated from the ECE department of the University of Wisconsin Madison and joined the ECE department here. Uh, the main research topic of mine is to enable emerging applications of our novel computing paradigms. Uh, I started the Unary Lab, which is short for Unary Neuromorphic Approximate reconfigurable computing, and yet more. So those keywords basically outline the techniques I used to research computer architecture during my PhD study. So with a focus on the emerging applications like deep learning and the brain-computer interfaces. Then in the future, I will be steering my uh, research directions to a broader scope, including the computer architecture, domain-specific uh, acceleration, uh, emerging computing, and uh, heterogeneous systems. So my past research has been recognized uh, with multiple awards from both the industry and uh, the academia. And in, terms of, uh, in addition to research, I also uh, deeply rooted myself in the teaching activities. I've been doing TA, for example, doing TA for eight times. And uh, uh, my efforts in teaching in Utah Madison has been recognized by both the department and uh, the university. Oops. Then my research vision uh, is to make impossible possible, aiming to enable those some uh, important new applications by exploring novel computing paradigms that yield unprecedented levels of power efficiency. Those applications include, but not limited to, brain-computer interfaces, AR, VR, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and beyond. The promise of those systems largely depends on how efficient the hardware can be built. So raising the need of a high efficiency computer architecture, which is uh, what I'm focusing on. So then in terms of the education, I developed the triple P philosophy, uh, which stands for uh, being pleasant, be profound and practical. So first, uh, be present, uh, pleasant. Of course, we need to be happy about where, what we're learning, but more important is to create an environment that welcome whoever are interested in computer architecture research or broader STEM discipline. And second, be profound. So Confucius said that to learn without thinking is blindness and while to think without learning is idleness. So I will cultivate a mindset to dive deeper into whatever, whatever we are learning. And third is try to be practical. I aim to uh, equip st a student with the engineering skills that matches the urgent need of the ongoing trend happening in the STEM world outside. And now I'm trying to talk, uh, going to talk about some of our research. Uh, the, the first project is uh, deep learning acceleration. This topic has uh, uh, started when I was a PhD a student and will continue in the uh, coming era of the large language models like ChatGPT. So given the energy devouring uh, deep learning models, it is if urgent to uh, research more efficient and scalable hardware for both the edge devices and the cloud servers. So towards this objective, my approach uniquely utilizes non-conventional computing paradigms and co-design the overall system. Those non-conventional computing paradigms could be unary computing, approximate computing, and reconfigurable computing. So the figure here is an example of unary computing for deep learning, and that uh, it achieved both high accuracy and uh, high efficiency. So the, the relevant research was published in top tier venues and uh, received multiple awards, among which the top, uh, IEEE micro topic is the highest honor in the com computer architecture community for potential long-term impact. So furthermore, part of my industry research has been commercialized in the product. Then the second project is on the brain-computer interfaces, which opens the door for the next generation human-computer interaction. So however, the brain-computer interfaces requires high accuracy and high compatibility for diverse tasks. So we will have all kinds of different missions and a different design for the brain-computer interface. One physical constraint is that the brain cannot be too hot. So the power consumption of the brain-computer interfaces have to be very limited. For implantable versions, the power consumption can 
uh, need to be within uh, 15 milliwatts. And also about the latency, it's very important. We don't, we need this ultra low latency to interact with the brain in a real time manner. So to achieve those requirements simultaneously, I leverage brain inspired computing like neuromorphic computing and uh, unit computing. The figure here shows a BCI framework where my research actually serve as a compute engine as a core, which is a gray, uh, gray block. The relevant research uh, resulting open, open source frameworks to educate broader audiences about brain-inspired computing, as well as show the accuracy promise of using those kind of uh, brain-inspired brain computing for brain-computer interfaces. Then the third project is a cryptographic acceleration, which is now sponsored by AMD and the Synopsys. That given the frequent information breach in the uh, cyber security, uh, cyber uh, physical systems, people are in eager need of a system that can conceal all the information, even the computation under the hood. To achieve this homomorphic encryption, which can compute on encrypted data is desirable because it hides all the information. So, however, existing uh, systems for homomorphic encryption or general cryptographic acceleration are tens of thousands of times slower than what is needed in real world applications. So for example, uh, to execute a deep learning uh, inference, the conventional algorithms just need milliseconds, but homomorphic encryption might need uh, hundreds of seconds. So my research targets to innovate the computing paradigm with the example shown in this figure and bridge this orders of magnitude of gap to ultimately bring, bring the this kind of a scientific concept to the real world applications. That we have been actively uh, training multiple undergrad students uh, and prepare them for this challenge research. The fourth project is the quantum error correction. The quantum computing are prone to errors that because of the noises in the qubit and the existing software solution to correct the error are so complicated that real time and large scale error correction is not practical at all. So this impedes the debut of the quantum supremacy. To get closer to this kind of a groundbreaking technology, I'm targeting a hardware-centric quantum error correction. It will introduce high adaptability to different quantum technologies, and it, it will also ensure high accuracy compared to the software solutions. So an example of my past research on the error correction of classical algorithms is shown in this figure. So th then we have collaborations with diverse uh, institutions, uh, both inside the United States and outside the United States. This kind of a cross inter uh, in institution uh, collaboration will further enhance the research strength and uh, bring about more research outcomes in the forthcoming years. Then uh, after the projects, I will talk about some of my uh, near-term and long-term plan. The, in the near term, I expect to build a community of uh, computer architecture research together with uh, the other faculties in the College of the CECS. So I would like to keep the conversation going with both the industry and the other university. Then given all the in, uh, research projects going on now, I'll try to draw the insights into fundamental research problems and outline a 10 year uh, research roadmap for the research on highly efficient computer architecture. Then on the education side, I will create new courses. And for example, the uh, big data computer system and also bootcamp projects to get students familiar with my research area and prepare them for the uh, employment opportunities brought by the CHIP Act. Then in a decade, I consider contributing to build a computer architecture research center in UCF and expand the connections with external institutions for a broader impact. I also consider commercializing and patenting uh, my research to further enhance the sustainability in conducting research. As for the uh, education, I will 
uh, contributing to making the broader STEM community stronger by publishing books and organizing workshops related to my research and uh, general STEM education. So at the end, I would like to uh, re-emphasize my excitement to join this amazing community um, of both research and education. I'm looking forward to talking and uh, collaborating with the researchers both inside and outside the uh, college and the university and contributing to the educational activities to cultivate the best workforce in the Southeast area. Thank you.